Hey everyone, Matt Canning here with BodybuildingPro.com here at the 2012 Arnold Classic Expo in Columbus, Ohio. Here with Joel Goldberg, owner of Species Nutrition at the Species Nutrition booth. So Joel, I saw you last year, uh, actually in 2010 at the Olympia. You know, booth was okay and everything, it was, it was nice to see. At the Arnold, all of a sudden, big booth, much uh, bigger presence. Then I saw you in Canada at the Toronto Pro. That, that surprised me, because to be honest, I didn't really know that uh, Species would be going into Canada as well and especially one of the smaller shows in comparison to the Olympia. Tell me a little bit about the company growth that you've uh, enjoyed over the, over the course of uh, the company's life. First thing I have to tell you is a correction. I'm the chief operating officer of the company. It is owned by Dave Palumbo, so bodybuilding guru. Uh, Species is a niche product line formulated by Dave to have only the best materials, the highest quality products, and things that are different in the marketplace. His theory was, if you can get it at GNC, why would you want to get it from me? But he made things better mixable, better tasting, higher quality, and then we have our own niche. Lately, things have been really taken off. Um, but one thing is, we did go to the Toronto Pro because we have always been a sponsor and a encourager of female bodybuilding. And there was a female bodybuilding pro show in Toronto. So Dave and I go around the country, and if there are two shows at the same weekend, he goes to one, I go to the other. But our big marketing effort is the Arnold Classic. We believe that far more than even the Olympia, far more than any of the shows, the Arnold Classic's where it's at. You know, Joel, I, ha I happen to agree with you as far as the Expo is concerned. Uh, well, the Olympia Expo is a good go. There's no doubt about that. Uh, you know, one of the biggest, obviously, around. It is the Olympia, after all. But the Arnold is, Expo-wise, probably the biggest in the industry. So you cannot, you cannot go wrong here. And uh, I never say anything bad about anybody, but the Olympia Expo is two problems for us. Number one, it's a long distance to get the product. So we truck the product here, drive it ourselves. The second thing in... The expo is far separated from the show. And at the Olympia, the show's the thing. So the expo becomes like a little bit of an afterthought. Uh, so the Olympia Expo is fabulous, but the Arnold Expo is where we as an East Coast-based company can best get the bang for our dollar. Now, Joel, I've, like I said, I've seen a lot of growth in the company, and obviously the United States is the biggest market for anything. How do you look, uh, what, what's your opinions on expanding internationally? I know obviously you're trying to get in with Canada, but being at Toronto, what's your take on the international markets, Canadian and all the rest? The international market is wonderful for species for a couple reasons. The U.S. market is sensitive at the high end to price. But what you find in foreign markets like Sweden or Australia or New Zealand, a lesser degree Canada, exchange rates and freight make it harder to bring in products and it evens everything out the diamatize the all match all of our competitors the price becomes even so we have a good quality selling one of two of our largest customers are australia new zealand distribution and italy spain portugal distribution where we're weak and i'm looking to all you members of facebook and all you members of this site we're weak in Canada, and the reason we're weak in Canada is we had not made the effort to get Health Canada licensing. And now the Health Canada licensing is becoming more available to international companies at a discount. So look for species in Canada coming in June. Well, Joel, I'm a big fan of free enterprise capitalism, and I, I make no, uh, I don't try to hide that in any way, and I really like to see more competitors in the market. And Health Canada, there's obviously going to be different regulations. But speaking of that, there was one issue that did face uh, Species Nutrition as a company some time back, which was the lawsuit over lipolize. Uh, uh, lawsuits over lipolize. Now, could you tell me a little bit about that? I know obviously there's some exaggerated information online, but what are the facts on that case? I'll give you some tangential information first, and that is that any products in this industry, any products, are subject to product liability. That's why you carry insurance because not everything goes with everyone. And even if you have warning labels, that doesn't matter because people can get sick from a combination of things. So in 2007, when the company started, we had a product in our lipolyze called usnic acid, or usnic acid. Usnic acid had a bad rap because people were putting it in fat burners in quantities of 100 to 120 milligrams. 
We put it in 12 milligrams, okay? We tested it, 12 milligrams. It didn't seem to create the same problem. But two of our clients did have liver issues, and we knew this was an outside possibility. As soon as that happened and we were faced with lawsuits, we reformulated the product immediately. Okay? The lawsuits are settled now. The arsenic acid is gone. There is no more. It hasn't been for a year and a half. Species is financially healthy, although you always do get a scare in product liability lawsuits on companies that are individually held. So we've survived that. And look for the new Lipolize Evolution 2 with Ervingia gabonis, which is African mango. That's the active ingredient, and it still has the other wonderful products in it, the Google Sterone, the green tea extract, and it, coupled with our Somalize, which is the nighttime fat burner, it's currently the most effective non-stimulant on the marketplace. Remember, up till now, Dave Palumbo has never had a stimulant product. That's up till now. Nitrolyzed pre-workout stim comes out at the end of this month. But Dave, being the guru and the integrity person that he is, said, I'm not making a stim product if I don't offer a non-stim in the exact same product. So our fat burners now are non-stim and non-controversial. I just want to say one thing also in defense of species nutrition. Things get exaggerated so much, not just in terms of supplements, but steroids. Ustinic acid is basically a metabolic uncoupler known to cause liver damage in massive doses if you already have pre-existing conditions. So if you take the, what's on the label, there shouldn't be any problem if you're a healthy individual. There's things nowadays too over-regulated. Almost the regulation prevents good supplements from coming out. And, and that, if anything, causes problems. There's medi this is true of, of pharmaceutical drugs that could help people. Regulations are actually preventing some good drugs from coming out that would save people's lives. So this over-regulation of everything is, is something that, as a, as a supporter in, of free market capitalism and, and just free markets in general, I don't particularly like. And honestly, unless the person took the entire bottle of lipolize, you know, I don't see how anything bad could have happened. And another thing, uh, that version of lipolize is two generations removed, so it's not an issue anymore if anybody had that in their heads. So Joel, I just want to ask now, how can the fans find you on the internet? That's obviously where everybody goes now if they can't make it to the Expos. Where can they find you and uh, anything else to say to the fans? Well, obviously in small unit quantities, speciesnutrition.com. That's speciesnutrition.com. But it is available at most e-tailers, All Star Health, uh, DPS Nutrition, Mass Nutrition, uh, and the like. So. And I hope bodybuilding.com again, do you think, if that's well, possible? We're meeting with bodybuilding.com later at this Arnold to try and tell them that whatever issues they had are gone and that species would make reparations for any legal fees that they did have. So we have no reason to not be at all of the places that should carry species. And also, one last thing I wanted to tell you, to your point, um, we have no desire for anyone to get sick. And we truly believe that everything we sell will make you healthier than it will make you sicker. And it is no way that we have that. You can get all that stuff you want at your gym or from your guy on the corner. We don't sell any of that here. And if there was something that had a problem, like T2 with the FDA, same with the Gaspari's product, we pull it off the market immediately. Well guys, you heard it right from Joel, and not only supplements, but steroids, pharmace pharmaceutical drugs, things get so much propaganda, so much fear mongering, and you know, like, honestly, don't be too afraid of stuff. It, we, we, he wouldn't be, this, the booth wouldn't be here at the biggest fitness expo in the world if they were really, uh, you know, any, if there was any problem with it. So I've not yet tried any species supplements myself. I've done a lot of reading, but in, being in Canada, I, I wasn't able to order from Canadian supplier. Hopefully I'll be able to uh, sample some here today. But uh, in any case, uh, give it a try. Look for a species online and, uh, you know, make the decision for yourself. But try not to buy into any, any fear mongering. So here we are with Joel Goldberg here at the 2012 Arnold Classic Expo in Columbus, Ohio.